Let me show you a quick and easy way you can create head pat, eye poke, and other contact receiver or fizz bone stretch animations using a VRC Fury toggle component trick. First things first, let's create an empty object on your avatar. We're going to organize our VRC Fury components under this object. Press Alt Shift N to create another empty underneath that. We're going to call this Dynamics. And then Alt Shift N to create another empty, and we're going to call this Head Pat. We're going to start with that one. Click Add Component, and we're going to add a receiver, contact receiver. Bring it up to our head. Press R to scale it down and drag left on this box to scale it down. Press W to go back to scale mode. I'm going to position it over the head. It's fine. Me personally, I like it so that other people can only activate it, not myself. So I'm going to disable allow self. Click add here. Allow finger or hand and finger to be able to activate this. And then we're going to call this head pat as the parameter. Next, we need to armature link this to the head because we want this receiver to always follow our head. So we're going to change hips to head. And then here is the trick so that we don't have to do any animation or effects work. We're going to add a VRC Fury toggle component. Click on options and then use a global parameter. We're going to copy this head pat parameter and paste it here. And then we're going to add action and let's do some blend shapes for whenever this head pet contact is activated. You use the search function here. I'm going to search for blush and a, another blend shape for smile. And let's also do, let's activate a heart particle that gets emitted. So I'm going to do an object toggle. Let me go ahead and add those heart particles here. I'm going to drop it onto head pat. Scale that up a little bit here. Move it down some. And then turn that off. And again, we want this object toggle to turn on whenever this contact receiver is activated. And that's it for the head pat interaction. Now I'm going to click on dynamics and press Alt Shift N to create an empty for a eye poke interaction and we're just going to do the left eye as an example here create a receiver contact receiver drag that to our eyeball um, scale it down now for the eyeball i want it so that uh, the closer the finger gets to the center of this contact receiver or the eye in this instance, I want it to slowly move the blink down. So to do that, we're going to disable allow self again, only do finger as the collision tag. And then the receiver type is going to be proximity. And we're going to call the parameter eye poke left. And again, we need to armature link this to our head so that the receiver always follows our head. Change hips to head. And then for the trick is a toggle component. We're going to do options, use a global parameter. I poke left and paste it here. And again, a proximity parameter turns this parameter into a float value. And a VRC Fury toggle component is a bool value. To make this a float, you just click on options and then use a slider. Um, so now this parameter is a float. We're going to add action blend shape. And we want it to blink our left eye at 100, value of 100. And that's all you have to do for the eye interaction. Now, one very important thing to note is that VRC Fury toggle components at the time of recording they use up synced parameter bits, regardless, even though the menu path is empty here, um, it's still going to use eight bits of parameter memory for this float value um, and a single bit for this head pet. So we actually want to not do that since contact receivers are automatically synced anyway. We don't want VRC Fury to use unnecessary um, synced parameter bits. So to tell VRC Fury to not do that, we're going to create a empty expression parameter object. Call this VRC Fury unsynced params. 
And for the first one, we're going to call this head pat. And the second one is going to be eye poke left. And the first one is a bool value. The second one is a float value. And the important thing is to unsync these values and unsave them. So you want to make sure everything is unchecked. We don't need this last one in our case here since we're only doing two. Um, but anything using this toggle trick here with an empty menu path and a global parameter, you want to put it in this list here. And then next you click on dynamics object here, and we're just going to add this to a full controller component. Click the plus sign on parameters, add that parameters list there that we just created to there. Go to advanced options, click the plus sign on global parameters and just type in a star, put a star there. Now let's say you want the head pat and eye poke interactions to be toggleable in the menu. Now what you'll do is actually create a regular toggle. And we just want this to be under interaction slash head pat. It's going to be the menu path in this example here. And we want this saved between worlds. So click options, save between worlds. And we want to do an object toggle. We also want this defaulted on. We want this head pat interaction defaulted on in this example. Drag in our head pat object here to here. And then same for the eye poke left, add a regular toggle. And we're going to put this under interactions slash eye poke left. Options, save between worlds and defaulted on, add action, object toggle. And we're going to turn on this eye poke left object here. And then we can test this in Unity here. If you have Gesture Manager in your project, um, I've also created these these test hand senders and finger here. Um, so you can drag this object over your head, see that it activates your head pat interaction, as well as the eye poke here. Kind of position that down, zoom in a little. And you can see that it activates the eye poke closer we get to the center of the eye. Um, and again, we did create regular toggles for these interactions. So go back to Gesture Manager. We put it under Interactions. So we can disable those and see that the head no longer gets reacted. And same with the eye poke, no longer happens, as you can see. And that's it. We did all of that avatar interaction work with VRC Fury entirely. Didn't do any effects layer or animations ourselves. VRC Fury did it for us.